Welcome back to Let's Play Axiom Verge Preview. I guess I missed Preview 2, so we're just going straight into Preview 3, which is basically... It's gonna be all the content of Preview 2. We just immediately continue to Preview 3, basically. So yeah, here we are before we talk to the giant lady head. Hello, giant lady head. How do you do? Let's see that map. Oh dang it, I guess I already explored. I did take a peek at Preview 2. Okay, this gun is not good at those. That's, that's good to know. Alright. I want that. What's that? Holy! So, things do not despawn when you go through doors. Good to know! I'm going to die! The game does auto-save if you die. I thought I preserved my save from the end of the last video, but I guess not. But we'll still show you all the new areas and stuff. I don't think I have any significant... Yeah, I still got all my same stuff. These zombie things are pretty tough, and I think they're just supposed to be. If I have a good amount of horizontal space before me and them, I can kill them without too much issue, but... And that's not gonna work. Alright, let's see if they de-aggro if we do this. They sure do not. Not very smart, though. Hmm. It's obviously a thing in there, but I can't get to it, so whatever. So that's what I mean about horizontal distance. With the Axiom Disruptor, if you just mash, you can kill him if you have a decent amount of distance. But they might go ahead and jump at you. Well, this isn't this lovely. Oh, even more lovely. Slightly less lovely. Even, whoa, that's, that's great. I, and look, some dead people in their beds or something here. That's great. I'm sure whatever is up here will be just fine. Great. Nice. Just fantastic. Okay, then. Well, I'm sure nothing bad will happen up here. And it didn't! Hooray! Just get a standard vertical corridor. With extremely foreboding music. That's a boss symbol. That's totally a boss symbol. The game is very clear about when a boss is going to show up. Very much like Metroid itself in that way. At least Super Metroid. Did Metroid have obvious boss doors? I actually haven't played too much of the original. We're gonna go ahead and explore the not boss stuff first. It's easy enough to get back here. Hmm. Actually, let me see that map. Hmm. Actually, you know what? That's stupid, because whatever the boss drops is going to help us explore more, so obviously we want to just get all the boss stuff first. I do love this random room of foreboding. All the games should have that. It sets you up nicely for the boss. Hey, buddy! Yep. Yep, I'm a demon. I'm sorry. I am. Let's just talk it out, like bros. See, talk! Yeah! See, we're buddies. Buddies? Neither of us is pointing giant guns at each other. Let's just... Aw. Oh. He's not gonna be my buddy. Oh. I shoot your head like... Uh-oh. Oh, I see. 
Excuse me. So you're Kraid here? Is that what's happening here? Ow! Excuse me. Well, that's not too ow complicated. I like the idea of this shotgun kyver thing, but it doesn't really seem that useful since it doesn't really seem to have knockback, at least not for the zombie things. So it's really dangerous to use against them. Kyver is the green thing. It, or Killiver. Or no. I don't know how to... whatever. The shotgun thing. It can go through walls and that's its gimmick. And that enables you to go to certain places. In combat, I generally just use this thing. The scythe is that the weapons are useful for puzzles in a way that isn't just use the blue gun to open the blue gun door. Lots of health. I mean, I love Metroid, but a lot of like opening doors and stuff isn't very interesting because weapons just act as keys basically. And then there's Metroid Prime 2 where they just actually are keys. They're actually are keys, like even when just upgrades are supposed to be your keys. I generally prefer things that improve your movement to allow you to access areas. I find that way more interesting. Address Disruptor. Corrupts and decorrupts weaker blocks and enemies. Oh, nice. It's a glitch gun! Glitch gun! Excellent. So this is obviously related to the glitchy stuff we saw. Excellent glitches. I love that it, it's obviously glitchy and reminds you of like old game glitches, but it's not like lots of games will just glitch out by having sprites replace, you know, sprites of the current room replace sprites of an object that shouldn't be in that room, and that's very authentic but pretty boring, honestly, once you realize what it's doing. So I, li I like what this does. So that's our glitch button, that's what the glitch button does, apparently. So I think we've about got all of our buttons. Can we glitch enemies? What is- ow. Okay, they still hurt, but health! I'll take some of that. What do you do? I'm just gonna glitch every enemy now, aren't I? Excuse you. No, die. Stop that. Are you making health? It's making health! That's that is my favorite thing to glitch now. Excellent. I like that, the the look of the thing that's glitched too. That's excellent. What do you do? Nice! Alright, so glitching enemies is going to allow me to access places. Glitch. How do I glitch? There you go. Excuse me. Uh, out of the way, boys. Are there presents in here? Presents! Ow, give me the presents. Jerk. Size node. So does that do more damage or not? I'm not really sure. No obvious difference, but... If it does, it's probably a pretty subtle increase in damage anyway. Right, so which way do we want to go? I guess I better show you the areas I already walked through. I poked around in Preview 2, but did not end up doing a video. Whole... Oh. Shortcut. Wait, no, I want to know what's up in the thing. Oh wow, it doesn't despawn the previous room at all then. Which has its ups and downs, so what's in this? Oh, just a save room. Eh, sure, I'll save. Alright. I was hoping we'd see more movement power-ups, like, like I was saying. I really do prefer the movement power-ups in games like this, but... Uh, weapon power-ups are fun too, as long as they enable 
interesting things, like not just shoot blue things at the blue stuff. Metroid is generally good and bad at this. Like, there'll be some lots of- there'll be good stuff like screw attack and interesting weapons, like... I really like the freeze gun in Metroid Prime. Oh hey, there's journal stuff. Alright. Blah blah blah. Strange that such a thing should even have language. Doesn't have hands to write the language down, but there it is. Interesting. So we've got some sort of glitchy horror, I assume. Whatever these. Doesn't have hands. Not really sure what it's talking about yet. It's expanding! Supplanting. There'll be anything to save when it's done. Hooray! I'm assuming that's the glitchiness, maybe? Still don't know where the story is going, but that's good. So you don't need too much room to kill these things, but you need them to be stationary first. And there you go. Wait, is this the corridor I was looking at before? I still love this drill. This drill is great. Can I don't get in? Oh, I have a terrible idea. Let's find one of those zombies. This is gonna be awful. What? Huh. I can't glitch it. Alright. Probably for the best. Probably for the best. I hope your buddy stayed dead, because I'm low on health. Oh god. Aw, oh, you jerk. See, this guy's in a bad spot. Because of that. Alright. We're good. So they will respawn, but they don't despawn. That's kind of mean. Oh crap, I forgot to show you the speedrun mode. There's a new... and entry on the main menu that's just speedrun and what it does is lets you pick your difficulty starts the game with no cutscenes no RNG or actually I guess what it sounds like is that it seeds the game so that like enemy interactions will always be the same but if you like do a different route like if the enemy AI isn't completely consistent it sounds like it seeds the pseudo-random number generator, which if you're interested in speedrun, you know that what that means. If you don't, you might not. It's programmy things. But yeah, it's very important for speedrunning. And I'm glad they took, you know, they made a special mode just for that, because one of the least interesting things to do to watch in a speedrun is unskippable cutscenes, or even skippable cutscenes or stuff that you have to text that you have to mash through. Even if it's not that fast, it's just pointless, and it's really cool to see them get rid of that. And also the RNG. I have don't think I've ever seen a speedrun mode that actually removes RNG like that. And I'll have to take a look and see how it works. I'll probably show a speedrun once I do a few runs of the new speedrun mode. I really love how things explode in this, by the way. It's one of those things where it keeps the pixelated look but does things that wouldn't be possible at the native resolution or, like, hardware. But not without looking too unfaithful. Like, it's not like different sprite sizes. That's just terrible stuff. But, uh... Just enables some cool special effects, like this glitch gun. It's a little... too smooth, but I don't view that as a fault. I talked about this earlier, I think. I don't really know how to explain it quite well. But. So we've got some pits. So of course I have to jump in the pits to see if there's anything in the pits. Nothing. There's nothing in the pits. Good to know. What? There's a block! I want the block! It's a, I guess that's a journal thing. I want. Wait, let me see. So the map does not mark when there's uncollected collectibles. Which is... oops. 
Why did I go in here? I knew there was nothing in this, and now I know there's nothing in the next one. So these are like flying brains on brain stem, so that's cool. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'll explore this just in case. It was nothing! Oh, what do you do? You become a glitch! Can I, I can stand on this, right? Yeah, I like that they have that consistency. Like, I, that looks... It's all glitchy, but it looks kind of like the glitches I could stand on. That just looks like the same enemy glitched up. Did I kill one of the other enemies by killing the glitched one? What happened there? I think I did. Well, let's say because we're filthy casuals. Pretty background. Oh, I forgot to mention, the background in that, the parallax scrolling in that mushroomy background looked really cool. I can't, it's not in this room. We'll go back just to see that, because it's really cool. I'm sorry. But look, look at that! And look at the, the parallaxiness. No, don't hurt me. Look at that, I like it. I wanted to point that out. See, at this point, we're getting past the stuff I had even played in Preview 2. Not sure if this is right when Preview 2 ended, or... Sorry, I'll definitely keep up on the next two previews. Still trying to get back in the hang of these things. Oh, and I'll try not to talk about this too much, but I... I have enabled fan funding on my YouTube account. It's actually... Quiet. It's kind of a fault. It's kind of ridiculous. It's on my YouTube channel, and there's just a donate button on the right. Which way do we go? Hmm. Um, so you can pay through, I think, credit card, Google Wallet. Only in the US, I think, for now. It's still a, like, beta, early sort of thing. But that money goes... I'm not sure exactly what cut Google takes. I think Google only takes the Google Wallet cut. So it's not like a 50% cut like freaking Twitch does with their subscriptions. And it's just sort of a non-specific donation to me, contribution to me, which I will use to buy better equipment. Currently I am thinking of a better capture card. And a solid state drive probably. I kind of want, eventually I want 60 frames per second recording and stuff. I currently can't really do that except for PC games, and I can't edit in 60 FPS either, so I'll need... Oh! So there's damage nodes too. Alright, that answers my question about the other thing then. The size node surely does not increase damage then. I like the subtlety of that idle animation. New area! You cute enemy. Oh god. You're not cute at all. I was calling you cute and you attacked me. It's high school all over again. Right, let's look at this map. Area 3. Hmm. Well, now I'm curious about the other area. Let's look. Ah. So you finally got branching paths. Possibly. Take a quick peek, and if, th if this looks like it's going to be a long path, I guess I'll go to the... Hmm. No, I don't want to backtrack too much, so if I'll just continue going on this one if it looks like it's a long path, actually. Sorry, I'm incredibly indecisive. Wait. Huh. That's pretty cool. It does kill all of them. But how do I... I opened that before. I have no idea how I opened that before. There wasn't anything in there. I'm very confused. Wait. I want to test how much damage that thing does, because I'm... Excuse me? Your pattern is mean. Let me kill you. Oh, wow. The Kyver or whatever thing does not do much damage at all. Let's glitch these back into existence, I guess. You're jerks! Holy crap! 
What happens if I glitch you? Oh, I understand. So yeah, glitching is obviously an integral part of combat, which that's cool. Huh. Guess we're not going that way. Well then. Hmm. Guess we're going to the new area. Please drop health. Sir. Actually. Thank you. you. See, sometimes the game just likes to listen to you and give you some health. Alright, let's get out of here. So what's behind door number two? I love the look of the areas in this game. Freaking little Chozo head. Is it Chozo or Chozo? I can't remember it without looking at it. Go away! I don't like you! Well... I... Dang it! Um... What? No! That's even worse! Why would you do that? Alright, so there's some enemies that get worse when you- oh god. different, and not necessarily helpful. Right. Please have a save room soon. I'm so bad. Very bad at video games. Oh, hello, Morph Balls. Um. Oh, right. I keep forgetting you can shoot angles. Is that? Oh god, oh god. I'm terrible at shooting at angles. Alright, precious health. please? Yes, thank you. Hmm. Let's see what's up. Hmm. The only thing that's up there is significant evidence of a double jump or something. Okay, bad weapon to use in here. I'm sure you like the constant corruption display over there. Does it eventually do something or just kind of sit there? I guess it only shows up when I'm using this gun, so it's not too bad. Stupid mantis thing. Ah, precious health that I don't need to. Excuse you! Sure. Alright, alright. I deserve that. Assuming at some point we're going to get something to unglitch those. New area? New sub-area, I guess. Oh, good. Good. Nice. Cool. Ah! Excuse you. Well then. That's great. Uh, huh? Well, that's quite mean. Let's start to get past those. Definitely stepping up in difficulty. Not particularly a bad thing. Alright, you can stand still and aim. 
forgot about the whole eight-way shooting thing. speedrun thing to go back to that a bit. I really wish more games would include something like that, not necessarily just for, you know, people going for world record, but just people that want to play a game purely for the gameplay. It can be really annoying to just have to skip all the cutscenes, even if cutscenes are skippable. Because lots of times you gotta open the menu, select, skip, and then, like, I noticed with Metal Gear Solid 4, even though it's possible to skip all the stuff, it's a real pain in the butt, because there's so many cutscenes, and there's loading between each of them. I guess you can just do that. Is that being stupid? That's going to be unpleasant to speedrun, isn't it? I can already tell. Oh good. This is happening. This is this is great. I like when that happens. Alright. Good. Can't glitch that. Okay. Are you pain? I'm gonna... Excuse me. Can you go ahead and guess that's pain? No? Is this float? You can't jump as high from those things. Okay, I didn't even notice. I was just like, why can't I go? Ah, oh, whatever. Another one of these cell sort of rooms. Not ominous at all. Oh. Well, hello there. Hi, ma'am. She is damaged from poison blood. She's very dangerous. Her ally. Hooray! Dangerous allies. Poor computer and speech impediment. I should probably not be drilling your face. Can I glitch you? I sure can't. Alright. So let's go find some repair drones, I guess. Surely up here. Excuse me. Nope. Oh goodness. Right. There we go. Nothing. Which way to go? Gonna guess this way is a save way. Save way? <laughs> save room! Save your room, but save way. I'm good at the talking words. I like these, like, neuron... gross things. It's very cathartic. No idea which is the right way, and I guess that's a good thing. We haven't seen too many significantly branching paths yet. Though that's kind of a thing with Metroidvanias, you never... You get sort of the illusion of branching paths, but until you have all of the upgrades, they really don't diverge too much. Hey! That was me! But I'm me! Get back here, you! You're... I'm... Best not to think about it too much. Think about this odd music instead. Oh god, why lasers? Why do you have lasers? 
freaking zoomers with lasers? What? Oh god. I should not have done that. Hey! Maybe I should have done that. Well then. That's... Interesting. Bubbly purple stuff! Is this boss door? No, just a different colored save door. Music getting lively here. I still love that, that's so great. Alright. Great sound effect for that, though. I love well done lasers in games. Lasers are great. Except when they're piercing your flesh, but you know. Well, excuse you. Ah! What did I just say about the piercing flesh thing with the lasers? It's not nice. It's just. It's just. It's just rude. No, you- I'm gonna give- I'm filing a letter. Well, you'd think I would learn my lesson. You'd be very wrong. Obviously, we will get a guided missile at some point. I kinda like when rooms like this show you, like, you're gonna have something awesome later on. But now you don't! Jerk. Okay, that was unnecessary, but... Maybe it wasn't. Okay, this is pretty good for these. Hmm. I can jump slightly more to the up. Oh god. Okay, not that scary, actually. Pretty bubbly, bubbly stuff. Do they only shoot if they see you? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that's bad stuff. Goodness. That's definitely bad stuff. Oh god. Thank you! I'll take that. And dead. The lava impedes your movement. Uh, slime lava? Slava? I'm gonna call it Slava now. Hmm. Speedrun of this section is definitely gonna be a bit more complicated than the. Ow! It does cut the corners now. Jerks! I really need to learn to deal with these things better. Uh, Speedrun's definitely going to be a bit more complicated now. I haven't really spotted any areas right for sequence breaks yet, but I don't... I'm not a speedrunner, so I don't really have an eye for that anyway. Ah. Damn it. Alright. Right. This is the area we can't go to yet. Not a big fan of these things. I'm sure I'll get used to them. Oh god. That was not my brightest idea. I guess this thing does have some use though. die. Ah. Still not used to that, but holding still to aim in four directions. What do you call that anyway? Down we go. Good. Great.
Well, what do we got here? Some sort of sound thingy. Field Disruptor. Alters local physics. Oh! We don't have a double jump, we just have a higher jump. I like that our animation's kind of slowed down, too. Oh god. I don't like you. Interesting thing about the way this game works, I'm pretty sure- ow. If you die after getting an item, you will keep that item because of the way the autosave works. Oh god. I don't necessarily have a problem with that either. Because if you want a real challenge with this game, you should be doing the speedrun thing. Not, like, trying a casual, like... Uh, if you want to do a casual no damage or whatever, self-set difficulty. That's fine. But I like that it focuses on a speedrun sort of thing. Because Metroidvania games lend themselves to that quite well. I imagine there are various passageways open to me now, but... Go away. Where was that area where I needed the long jump? Oh, well, this is one of them. It's not the one I was thinking of. But there was that other me in here. Let's go find him. Where are you, me? I know I'm in here. Oh god. No glitching, you. What am I supposed to do with these? Your jerks die! Holy crap, you had too much health. I don't like those. I'm sure there's some trick to that, but... Heal, please? Oh god! I don't like this room. Let's go in this room. Maybe it will kill me less. Aw, oh, you're rude, game. You're just rude. Just rubbing it in the wound, aren't you? Assume that sound seems to mean I need better, like a higher level of glitch to uh, access something. I like that these are obvious once you know they're there, but like they fade in just enough to the background. It's pretty cool. If you're not paying attention, you'll bump right into these jerks. Oh god. Let's find out what's in here first. Oh god! Why? Why is there pain everywhere I go? Why? Ha! Jerk. Why can't Axiom Verge crawl? Oh god. Please stay dead. Okay. I'm okay. We're okay. This is, this is fine. Yes! Okay. This is longer than I was expecting for 15... I guess it's a 15% chunk, but at this point... Maybe I didn't get as far into the other preview as I thought I did. Maybe I'm dumb. That's ominous. Oh! Just... Just a little sign here? Hey. Oh. It's the preview. That's why it's so out of place. Well, that was the slow reveal three. Let's get our final stats. There's apparently difficulties now. I don't think there was difficulties before, but I guess there's gonna be a hard one now. 
That's not a speed run time at all. It's <laughs> a lot of screens in this game, apparently. Slightly fewer deaths. But let's take a look at the speed run option. So, I really like- it explains what it's for, too, which is nice. Checkpoint HUD, I'm not sure what that's about. I need to actually take a look at- well! Let's just do a real quick peek at this. No dialogue at all. It has the on in-game timer, which is cool. Saves you from having to do your own timer. I mean, people will still do their own splits, but... It'll be a good way to, uh, you know, verify runs. Coming to AGDQ 2016? Question mark? Question mark? I have no real concept of how amazing speedruns will eventually look, because I don't, you know, don't have access to the full stuff. I hope there's all sorts of crazy stuff, like sequence skips and stuff. Yeah. Nothing too much changes, you know, as far as gameplay is concerned, which it's not supposed to. Aside from the, the uh, no RNG, or reduced RNG, that's pretty cool. Because lots of games that are really cool to speedrun still have some weird random bits where there's RNG and it kind of kills runs for no reason. So it's really cool they've taken steps to address that. But yeah, I'll, I'll have a look at the speedrun mode and I'll try to do a decent enough run to show on the YouTubes. But for now, this is Axiom Verge Preview 2 and 3. Sorry about that. But uh, I'll be more timely next time for sure. Thanks for watching, and get hyped for release. It's not too far now. I think it's Q1 or Q2 2015, so not too much longer, really. Definitely excited for release.